Welcome to another in our series of short video nuggets. This video covers some of the fundamentals, specifically steps and actions. If you save the distance to partial project at the end of fundamentals part 3, you can continue using that project. If not, you can open the distance to partial to project, which can be downloaded from the Automation Studio online help. There are gaps in the workflow, which we will fill with steps. To allow for testing of partial workflows, steps do not technically have to be connected to the end step for the workflow to be run. Let's drag a step between Start and Calculate Distance. We'll right-click and rename step to Extract Origin, enter for a new line, and Destination. Press the Escape key or click on the canvas to finish. Click on Start and drag the black node to connect to our new step. Then click on the new step and drag the connector node to link up with the Calculate Distance step. We have a new step, but that step contains no actions, as we can see by the empty action pane. Ensuring the new step is selected, expand the Custom Instances branch of the asset tree and drag the From City Excel variable and drop it into the action pane. This is the way we assign values to variables in Automation Studio. We could type a hard-coded value into the field, but in this case, we want to invoke a function that will read the value from a cell in an Excel spreadsheet. The Excel sheet needs to be in the ctemp folder and to be called distance.xlsx. The from and to values are assumed to be in columns A and B of row 2. Click on the Function button and in the dialog expand Built-in Services, MS Office and MS Excel and select Get Excel Cell Value. The dialog filters the functions to display only those which are appropriate selections for the current field. Click Set. We'll enter ctemp-distance.xlsx, Sheet 1, A and 2 into the relevant fields. We'll repeat the process with the toCity Excel variable. We'll select the same function and enter ctemp-distance.xlsx, sheet 1, B and 2 into the relevant fields. Save the project for use in the next two video nuggets. Thank you for watching. Part 2 of this video nugget covers additional examples of adding steps and actions. Bye for now.